We know it's been a lot of terrible weather here on the East Coast, but out in um, California, the West Coast has been hit by El Nino storms, which has caused, caused a state of emergency. And we have some drone video. Uh, check this out. These apartment buildings are teetering on wow. the verge of, of disaster. And ABC's Neil Karlinski is out in Pacifica with the latest on this. Good morning, Neil. Scientists are issuing urgent, thunderous warnings in the hours following one of the most dramatic moments in California's recent natural history. The news broke barely a minute ago. Massive waves, relentless and historic, are battering the California coastline. In their wake, sections of cliffs, long thought to be almost immutable, have cracked, slid and collapsed into the sea in an astonishingly brief span. Across a stretch of the Pacific, California's iconic shoreline is no longer just eroding, it is collapsing in places, and the pace of this transformation is exceeding even the direst scientific predictions. Now, fear and uncertainty ripple not just through emergency briefings and scientific reports, but through coastal communities themselves. Residents are beginning to react to empty horizon lines where ground existed just hours before. Emergency alerts pulse on cell phones as towers flicker or fail. Shouting winds and trembling earth fill what were tranquil evenings as nature's warnings become thunderously loud. This is no distant climate threat or a problem for the middle of the century. This is now, a seismic and unambiguous shift resetting California's relationship with the coast and testing long-held definitions of home and safety. But the danger doesn't end where the land meets the ocean. What's playing out extends beyond visible cliff falls and collapsing fences. There is an unfolding disaster with potential to outpace all containment, driven by a synergy of sinking ground, rising seas and rapid erosion cascading together. How could a coastline renowned for resilience be overcome so suddenly? How is it possible that California's cliffs and beaches, engineered, mapped and monitored for decades, are giving way so swiftly to collapse? Scientists have a sobering answer. They describe a rare convergence, a compound hazard event, where extreme waves, storm surge, land subsidence and intensified erosion all act in sequence, an array of hazards few models ever simulated together. Recent scientific reports, including a NASA-led study published in Science Advances, have confirmed dramatic changes. Not only is sea level on the rise and waves intensifying, but some segments of the California coastline are actively sinking, sometimes by millimeters each year. These factors combine, turning areas once considered secure into new front lines of risk. As emergency workers rush to support roads, seawalls and neighborhoods, what is at risk is not just built infrastructure, but the very ground beneath their feet. The losses are both dramatic and deeply personal. Homes claimed in a matter of minutes, vehicles toppled as cliffs disintegrate and beloved coastal walkways erased nearly overnight. Across command centers, worried calls surpass available channels. From Pacifica to Santa Cruz, the central question shifts rapidly from what do we do now to how much can the coast endure before the next wave? Before we attempt an answer, pause now, subscribe to our channel for urgent updates and to remain informed as events unfold. Your engagement brings wider awareness and helps spread crucial warnings, so please subscribe today. The underlying question is unnerving. Could nature truly unravel decades of security along California's coast in a matter of hours? To approach an answer, we must reckon with the powerful natural and geologic forces at play, a combination pushing the state into a new and unpredictable era. According to coastal researchers, the present disaster is the result of oceanic violence meeting geologic vulnerability a formula for collapse that has upended all prior risk forecasts. Immense waves, fueled by powerful storm tracks and further intensified by marine heat, are striking a shoreline already weakened by years of subtle land subsidence. The coast is not just being eroded by the sea. In many places, the land itself is quietly sinking. Add in rare overlaps of storm surges and saturated earth, and the result is a swiftly compounding disaster. This chapter of California's story begins with surf and ends, unless we act, with irreplaceable land lost to the Pacific. No longer is it a question of if, but rather how much and how quickly. 
The state's shoreline destiny is being decided in real time, as nature composes a new lesson in change and loss. At dawn, the collapse was not gradual, but sudden, violent and indifferent to routine. In an instant, driven by enormous swells and extraordinary tides, the sea reclaimed the edges of California with finality. In Pacifica, long identified as vulnerable by years of past storms, tons of earth and cliff raced down to the surf below, shattering any illusion of permanence. Newscasters broadcast trembling aerial images, bluff-top homes teetering on the brink, streets cut short by the void. Backyards and trails, once scenic vantage points, were now lost to the sky. Further south, Santa Cruz's famed boardwalk, so often battling winter storms, took a direct hit. Waves battered railings, ripped up benches, and forced surprise evacuations for families and businesses familiar with California's temperamental coast. In Newport Beach, storm water overcame breakwaters, flooding neighborhoods, and turning pieces of boardwalk infrastructure into temporary rafts on city streets, as first responders struggled to rescue residents marooned by the tide. The waves themselves represented something ancient and immense. In sleepy coastal towns, Residents awoke to surges spilling up estuaries and invading familiar backstreets. Fire alarms sounded as salt water crept into electrical circuits. Beachfront motels emptied beneath the glow of rescue lights. In La Jolla, onlookers watched as palms fell to the surf, uprooted from ground that no longer withstood the onslaught. Satellite data, analyzed by Dr. Ye Ling Ma, from the Pacific Center for Ocean and Atmospheric Research provided further clarity. Boys at Scripps Pier in La Jolla captured wave heights surpassing records, evidence of the sheer energy unleashed by storm systems moving across the Pacific. The pounding was relentless, with little interval for waters to drain or defenses to recover. Northward, in Humboldt Bay, emergency crews scrambled to reinforce sand berms and temporary barriers once thought sufficient for worst-case floods. Within an hour, the ocean overtopped every line of defense. Residents watched as docks and boats, along with logs and debris, swept from the eroded shore, pitched wildly in the surging water. The Coast Guard issued urgent evacuation orders, warning that the event exceeded all recent precedent. Each hour, the coastline was redrawn, neighborhoods altered. But deeper still, Dr. Ma's team discovered a pattern. This wasn't just flooding, the land itself is subsiding. Slow, almost imperceptible downward movement is now synchronizing with high tides and surf, turning what might once have been temporary inundations into permanent losses. The high water mark has become meaningless in places where neighborhoods gradually drop below the advancing sea. In Dr. Ma's words, People notice the storm, but not always what's underneath. The ground is moving downward, sometimes by millimeters each year, while ocean levels rise. Each new surge increases risk exponentially. This is no longer isolated disaster. The trend is statewide. Big Sur's legendary cliffs are left with new fissures where bluffs slipped away. In the central coast, Streets perched above the sea have been red-tagged and evacuated, as further collapse seems imminent. Time-lapse satellite imagery captures the pace, neighborhoods shrinking every season, community spaces and piers gone in an instant, a coastal process that once unfolded over centuries now compressed into days or weeks. Further analysis from Dr. Ma's colleague, atmospheric scientist Dr. Lena Chang, reveals an equally daunting reality. It's not just one monster wave or a single bluff giving way, she explains. We are seeing wave energy from repeated storms, each system stronger than the last. Marine heat increases evaporation rates, adding fuel to each new storm. The forecasts are outdated almost the moment they're made. Beneath all, the hidden culprit is an ocean that is warmer and more dynamic than at any time in recent memory. Up and down the coast, a marine heat wave is breaking records, amplifying evaporation and energizing each storm cycle. The pattern is self-reinforcing. Warmer water leads to stronger storms, 
which trigger greater waves, driving even more damaging erosion and loss. The impacts are stark along every mile of the shore. Beaches, dunes and bluffs, once considered stable, are now vanishing. Communities once buffered by geography find their defences erased, and neighbourhoods are redrawn by each new surge. This crisis extends below the surface. California's evolving coastline isn't only a story of eroding sand and collapsing cliffs, it's one of gradual sinking, land subsidence, undermining defences faster than engineering can keep pace. NASA's recent studies have mapped out hotspots where the ground subsides, sometimes quickly enough to magnify the effects of rising sea and violent surf. The causes are complex. Groundwater extraction, tectonic shifts, and shifts in deep earth. Combined, their impacts are anything but subtle during this compounded emergency. In Orange County's salt marshes and San Francisco's marina district, the reality is clear. Long-trusted maps are upended by new floodlines. Once protected land is exposed as the line between earth and ocean marches inland. Planning and engineering efforts, though robust, are repeatedly outpaced by dual threats from above and below. Where the land falls away, lives are disrupted. As the situation evolves through the day, emergency shelters rapidly fill, not just with those displaced by direct flooding, but with families whose homes are gone, their neighborhoods now seaward of the coastline itself. People seek shelter and comfort in unfamiliar gyms and community centers, witnessing the erasure of their local geography in real time. As you absorb these events, remember, this is unfolding right now, driven by the same tide of danger and data. For timely, in-depth updates on California's developing coastline crisis, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Each alert strengthens our shared understanding, and your involvement spreads these vital warnings further. Don't delay. Subscribe and become part of an informed community. Nowhere is vulnerability more evident than in the breakdown of the infrastructure supporting these coastal communities. As hours pass, power outages multiply along the coast. Salt water infiltrates substations in places like Santa Monica, shorting transformers and plunging neighborhoods into darkness. Preventative shutdowns are ordered to contain damage, as backup crews are hindered by road collapses and flooding. Communications networks, including cell towers, become unreliable as infrastructure is battered or disrupted. Lisa Mendoza, working from the Del Norte County Command Center, explains the situation. We are facing unprecedented concurrent risks. Flooding, landslides, disrupted power, Every system we depend on is stretched past its limits. The margin for error is gone. With communications limited, emergency workers fall back on manual updates and radio, techniques common decades ago. Route updates and evacuation orders struggle to keep pace with landslides or collapsed bridges. For many, this evacuation is not the first. Repeated disasters have forced families to adapt to a cycle of loss and displacement. Nights spent in cars or temporary shelters are now familiar to an increasing number of residents who must weigh what they can carry against the uncertainty of what will remain when they return. Across the central coast, warnings echo through public channels. Erosion has reached a critical point. Multiple transportation corridors are compromised and further collapses are possible with each incoming tide. Along beloved stretches of Highway 1, Vast sections now hang over the sea's edge. Segments of the road are fractured, battered by relentless surf, and rescue teams capture drone footage of former landmarks now submerged or swept away. Amid the mounting disorder, Dr. Lena Chang spends her days contextualizing the event's scale. These aren't isolated failures. Every downed wire, every closed highway, is a sign of a deeper systemic crisis. With compounding events, each round of damage worsens the underlying vulnerability and accelerates the next hazard. The California Department of Water Resources has broadened its focus too. Geologist Dr. Marcus Ellery notes, flooding isn't just coming from the ocean, it's pushing against the landscape from multiple angles. Rivers are unable to drain to the sea, trapped by tides and storm surges. Some inland areas are seeing flooding for the first time, 
overwhelmed from both sides. The crisis is, in short, multidimensional. Soaked hills near Santa Barbara trigger landslides and close critical routes. The Central Valley, traversed by rivers unable to empty, now faces slow-moving backwater floods. Livestock are hurried to higher ground, and small towns keep anxious watch on rising water levels, uncertain whether their protections will hold. The social toll grows in parallel. Each disaster is no longer a once-in-a-lifetime event, but a recurring ordeal. Families recall earlier evacuations, last year's storms, last month's warning. Increasingly, professional assessments of risk sound less and less like plans for adaptation and more like acknowledgements of retreat. Historic homes stand surrounded by water. Orchards and playgrounds vanish beneath debris. The grimmest question remains, what if this collapse is not an isolated disaster, but an early sign of a changed, accelerated future? Is the transformation of California's coastline now underway? And will the defining features of the state become casualties of shifting climate and geology? Dr. Ye Ling Ma summarizes the evolving scientific consensus. It's time to reconsider the notion that rebuilding or new barriers will buy long-term safety. With the rate of coastal movement now measured in yards per year in some locations, we must understand that the land as we remember it is not the land we still stand upon. New sensor readings and satellite passes amplify the evidence. Each night, teams update the ledger of losses, not just in acreage or economic value, but in cultural heritage and community identity. The tides do not relent. The National Weather Service warns that approaching Pacific storm systems will continue to send large waves and high water levels toward the coast, leaving little time for any meaningful repair or retreat. Still, the scientific response evolves. Researchers speak plainly in emergency meetings and briefings. This is more than routine erosion. It is a fundamental repositioning of the coastline. Dr. Marcus Ellery puts it plainly. We must now accept the coastline as dynamic and changeable, subject to forces greater than any single community or agency can control. As night settles and storm lights flicker, the message is clear. The age of static, easily defended coasts is passing. What remains is the legacy of community willpower, adaptation, and the ingenuity born from necessity. As California's blank horizon bears witness to ground lost and futures rewritten, let these lessons stay with us. Protect what you can. Adapt where you must. Every act of preparedness, each shared piece of knowledge, shapes our collective response to the next inevitable surge. Remain vigilant. Stay safe. Subscribe for ongoing updates and insights. Share your stories and suggestions for preparation. Which warnings matter most and how are you getting ready for what comes next? Join our community for continual coverage and a front row perspective as the realities of a transforming California coastline unfold. Remember, as the ground shifts, every choice and every action count, now more than ever.